I've seen Chase for the last few years actually. He, uh, he was a, an even smaller attacker that uh, was at a launch of an Australian Open a couple of years ago and he keeps progressing and this is a great opportunity for him to be going to Europe and going to Roland Garros. If he can win the, the Longines Challenge he ends up playing against uh, Andre Agassi and all of those experiences are fantastic and it, it's, it's the dream that you get to live that inspires you to continue on in the sport. So uh, he's, he's a great fella um, with a very good game and a great opportunity to progress further. He's got a good attitude and a good work ethic and he's got very good sound basics in terms of technique. So with all of those things, he's, he certainly has a chance. Oh, it's very exciting. I think it's going to be a great experience for me. And yeah, I'll love it. I like to think myself as a, an aggressive player, not just to sit around and wait for the arrow. It'll be my first tour to Europe and it's probably, it won't be the only event I'm playing because um, there's this Europe tour after that. And so it's like traveling around all of Europe and playing different tournaments, and it goes for about six or seven weeks. Oh, well, hopefully I'll be able to become world number one and just be able to compete with the best players in the world. Uh, probably Roger Federer or Rafa Nadal. Um, Federer, because some of the shots he hits are unbelievable, and Nadal's mentality and stamina I just really admire. Well, I'm very happy and to see someone who uh, moves so well on the court. He, he's only small, only 12 years of age, but uh, what I see, the way he moves around to hit the ball and the way he uh, strokes the ball, I think he's got the world at his feet and I can expect big things from him in the future.